What's up guys, this is Bova the Fell Handed and this is the T-100 Tier 10 Soviet Light Tank. I just bought this bad boy, gonna give it a shot on Prokhov Vodka Night Standard Battle. The Greens have taken the Northern Spawn and the Reds the Southern. FYI, on this particular vehicle, I have Rammer Vertical Stabilizer and Optics. I have a semi-decent crew now just keep in mind light tanks do not lose their camo value when moving so they have a very very high camo value this one however only has 390 meters of spotting range and a decent gun 300 damage per shot eh, you know the accuracy is not fantastic that being said the on the move accuracy is very very good so it gives it ability to make a lot of clutch shots you wouldn't normally see on a lot of vehicles now all I'm doing here is just kind of you know riding the ridge line here trying to get some guys lit up not necessarily you know wanting to go crazy uh, this tank however does have a little bit of turret armor so you know you're you're at 180 millimeters of armor so you can use that to your advantage that being said, of course, they have to hit the turret, which is a little small. I mean, you know, giving this tank the nickname of the pancake. It's it's very, very flat. Which, if you see some of the Russian designs, the Soviet designs, you know, on other vehicles that are not currently in the game, other AFVs, if you will, they are extremely oddly shaped, flat, what have you. Moving along. Now, we're still trying to work this ridge line. We're, you know, we're, we're not necessarily taking shots of opportunity just yet. This tank does have, uh, you know, focusing back on the gun, some decent penetration. Now, I am kind of pulling back from the front here. I realize my, the majority of my team decided to push left flank for some reason. So, I'm kind of pulling back and, you know, stay in a support fire role. Which is perfect for this tank because this is not a a up close brawler type situation of a tank we are support fire scouting at the very best uh, we're gonna try to put some shots on this IS-7 here uh, we managed to toenail one in the side IS-7 is a very very tricky tank to penetrate uh, let alone at the current range we're in if you guys will check out my IS-7 weak spot guide video you know it is not an easy tank to deal with we are getting some tracked assist damage on this particular vehicle. Looks like our clicker is raining on him as well. Didn't necessarily get any good penetrations, but that's fine. Uh, that's kind of what we're here for. We're just essentially here to help the main team handle things. Okay, so our six cents just went off, and we are out of the building. We are going to reposition here. I'm trying to keep my arty alive. But at the same time, you know, I want to make some things happen, spot some things for the, the, the rest of the team. But if you look at the map as a whole, the Reds are encroaching on our camp area. There's not a whole, whole lot I can do about that. I've got some on the hill over here I've got eyes on. going to see if I can't possibly put some rounds down range. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I am detected. And what I'm going to do is fall back and see if I cannot stem this tide of tanks pushing this area and the good news is a lot of them have just really been through the ringer a lot of them are kinda of beat up <laughs> we put a we put a no scope round into the side of that gentleman he fires back we go ahead and auto lock onto him and then boom erase him from the game so you know that's not necessarily a big win for this side yet it is still a piece of the puzzle we still have a lot going on. We're going to go ahead and pull the trigger on this gentleman, get him off the board. He could have done an immense amount of damage. We're going to go ahead and follow through here, see if we can't remove this gent from the board as well. Now, also, guys, keep in mind uh, the T100 does not have a blistering rate of fire. It's about 6.5 seconds when you get it where you need to be. So just keep that in mind that, you know, you're not really going to be. DPMing anyone like the Soviet mediums do uh, with their insane fire rate. I figured I would go ahead and suicide on that guy. Why not? There's only a few of us left, and it looks like they're going to be removed in short order. What else can you do in that given situation? I kind of was had a few different guys on me, and if I turned around, there really wouldn't be much, 
much to do but run and then I would just get shot in the back so sometimes guys you have to just ally Akbar it okay so you know we didn't have an awful game but at the same time we had a decent game 21 10 197 assist first game in the t100 guys I hope you enjoy please remember to like subscribe and share we'll see you next time